So today, you know, we're gonna do the, we'll call it the front of the legs. I'll try to get as much as we can. I try to come as far back as possible. I like to get this. The reason I'm actually starting in the front for you to the back is because you're such a big volume mm -hmm. here. So sometimes it's actually good to even get like even some of this. And if we do something else, get the other half, but I'll do as much as we can for you. And it seems for you it's interesting. Most of your pain's up here, not so much down in this area anyway, right? Which is, which is actually, uh, it's no, actually yeah. good though. Yeah, it's actually a good thing for us. And as we were talking, you said you can probably right now do about half a mile before your legs start. Like at most, yeah. At most, okay. So this will be interesting to see. So I wanna show everybody, we just made an incision, just started putting the fluid in, look. That's all pure lipedema, just at the top. And if you can see her leg, it goes all the way down. We're gonna remove all of this. The top stuff, we're gonna remove more with liposuction. The bottom thicker nodules, we're gonna get with the manual and get everything out for her today. But it's amazing. That's right at the skin surface as soon as you open. This red area that she marked is actually where she said she has a lot of pain. We've actually taken out a ton of lipedema from her. This is actually skin on fascia here. What I'm gonna show you though is A, how gentle our technique is. That's a vein. That's actually an intact, very large vein. So people can see actually how gentle A, this technique is, but B, look what we can do. We've taken everything out just down to vein. So we're gonna leave that guy intact for her, obviously, but we know she has very close veins. But my theory is also, people try to get their veins treated prior to doing lipedema. I don't think they should. I think now that we've treated the lipedema, when this goes back in and it's more compressed, I think it's gonna work better, or at least she'll have a much better anatomical sense of what her vein should be doing. So that's the other thing that you can see. That's the her vein. So I wanna show everybody, we've actually done our lymphatic sparing liposuction. In fact, I want everybody to take a look here. That's just from one of the legs. Again, this is the, we still have more to go. There's only one leg total. So we've gotten close to over four liters from just one leg. We still have more to go. But I want to show everybody is, again, we've done the, we've done the, the lymphatic sparing liposuction. There's nothing left in here. However, you can start feeling these nodules now, these really large nodules. And what's interesting is as we made our incision for the manual, look at that. Right there is one of them. And what I want to show everybody is we'll slowly try to get it out for you. Look at this. And it's actually really still firmly in there. Kind of we'll, we'll detach it. Look, look at that. And just to show you how big that is, let's see, that's my finger. So, and look how solid this is right here. So this is the stuff you gotta get out manually. And we're gonna get a ton more from her because it's all just thick lipedema in there. So as we start massaging and getting stuff out, you're gonna see more and more and more of it. But this is again, this is what I always tell people. This is the stuff you have to get out. Otherwise you haven't done a thorough job and you know what, she's still gonna have pain. Once we get all this out, there'll be no pain. Even tomorrow she's gonna say her legs are lighter and. Uh, it just feels better and she'll be she told us she can walk barely half a mile I'll bet you even after we finish our first stage here I'll bet she's able to double that possibly even triple that